She is the first blind contestant and winner of the third season of Master Chef. And now Christine Ha is out with her own cookbook called Christine Ha Recipes from My Home Kitchen, where she combines her Eastern and Western love of comfort food. And today we're going to make two amazing recipes, one from the East and one from the West. And Chef, I'm really excited about this. When, when we tell the folks at home that uh, you're blind, can you see anything at all here? Um. I can tell that there's something dark here, and okay. then everything else looks kind of light, and that's probably about it. And so in the kitchen, how, when you navigate in your own kitchen, I assume you just you know where everything is? And yeah, um, I'm very organized by nature, so my own kitchen, I have everything exact. My knives are lined up on a magnetic strip, like exactly how I know, and my spices are all labeled out in Braille and stuff, so I know where everything is. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. well, our first recipe is going to be our Eastern recipe. What are we making? Yes, yeah, so we're making Korean beef short ribs. So it's a favorite. Um, it's really easy to make, actually, and super tasty. It's like one of those things where you don't put that much effort into it, but no one will ever know. Uh, I love those. Are my favorite <laughs> kind of recipes. Uh, put me to work here, what can I be doing? Yeah, so first we're going to start off with the, the beef, which is uh, usually you get them cut Korean style, which is a flank and cut. So it's right. cut like across the bone. Um, but if you can't find it like that at the grocery store, it's not easy for you to get that. You can just use any sort of beef ribs or whatever, because this marinade will taste great with any sort of beef. So, okay, so first we're going to put that beef into the... They go into the bag? The zip, yes, the Ziploc right, bag, because we're going to marinate it. These are so, beautiful pieces of beef here. Wow. So we're going to do the marinade. So this is the soy sauce. All right. And then we're going to put in some, I believe this is garlic. Yes, it is. <laughs> and I would imagine your nose suddenly becomes your, your most important sense here in the kitchen, right? Yes, and taste. And then here is extra light olive oil. And then this is sesame oil. Yeah. Which is a lot of, um, a lot of Korean food uses sesame oil, so that flavor is very common. All right. And then um, we'll have a little bit of some toasted sesame seeds that go into it. And then this is scallions that are cut up, and then that'll be the marinade. Wow. So we just mix that I can already smell the sesame in there is so good. The sesame with the mm -hmm. soy is such a good smell. So you got that beef in there I for do. Me? Should I pour the... Uh... Yes, please. All right, I'll grab that and pour that on in. And this, how long will we let this sit in the bag and marinate? Uh, I would say at least three hours, but I like to do it overnight. And you flip the bag halfway through just so to get the marinade even. I got gotcha. you. And I the do. longer, is it the lo a question of the longer we leave it in, the better? Yes, for better this, in this case, go. yes. So right. yeah, if you want to seal that up and kind of shake it up a little shake bit. Shake it up. Oh, that's really sure yummy. <laughs> so normally I would just, I would do this, I'd throw it in the fridge. Yes. And then three hours to 24 hours later, I'm good. And yes. what I and what I have is is this which is this beautiful yes. plate of uh, marinated Right, ribs. so then after it's marinated, you take it out and then you would just grill it. So... You got a, little, got a grill pan there. Yes. I believe so. so this could be done on a, like an open grill outside if yes. we had such a thing, yeah. or on a grill pan. My in-laws are, um, they always do this outside. So, um, wow. but you can just do it on a grill pan as well. So I'll just put three pieces on. And those are good. How long on each side? Those are cut fairly thin, as you cut said. Cut fairly thin, and you kind of want them about medium. Uh, to medium rare, so okay. I would say uh, probably just a few minutes on each side, and then you can just flip them. And then you can flip them here. I got a towel for you there. And this yep. is the final product. What would you pair this with? What would you? Uh, so usually you would eat it with rice, um, and then like short grain rice, and then also with kimchi, which is fermented cabbage. And it sounds kind of strange, <laughs> but you know when you eat something that's meat um, and kind of sweet and savory, you like something pickled, right? So that goes excellent together. And that would cut it. And that's and that's what we've got uh, here in our bowl. It looks yes. so good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. You can find this recipe on our website, BetterTV.com. And coming up a little bit later, Christine is gonna make dessert. I I've never even heard of brown butter ice cream, but that is what we're making.